Tell us about your character in this game. He's somebody who is obviously mission before man, and really he, he, he has the dilemma about, it, you know, is it, is it mission before man or is it really man before mission? Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of GBB Gaming. It will be an entertaining and interesting episode as we will find out which Call of Duty game is the best in this series. But first, let me introduce our special guest today. A great actor known for his role as Lt. Col. William Lennox in the movie Transformers and now playing as Sgt. William Pearson in Call of Duty World War II, it's Josh Dumel. Hi Josh, how are you doing? I'm doing alright, how about you? We're doing okay, thanks for coming to the show! Cool! Alright, let's head over to GBB Gaming People's Choice. The good Call of Duty game in your opinion is Call of Duty 2. Far away Greta! Random Gonzo commented Call of Duty 2. The rest are just like FIFA. And the bad joke listed, good COD2, better COD MW1, and best COD MW2. Call of Duty 2 is a sequel to Call of Duty released in 2005. The graphics of this game are quite astounding, even in today's standard. Whether shooting your way through a blistering snow or fighting your way through a war-torn city utilizing whatever tactics to survive. The campaign mode of this game lets you play through one of the three stories, either the British, Soviet, or the American campaign, opening up the idea of showing more than one side of the story to World War II. The American campaign starts off during D-Day, recreating that fateful battle and visceral leading players to the assault of Point Du Hoc. This spectacular event was also modernized in the opening scene of Call of Duty World War II. This game basically recreated the most memorable settings and historical battles for us to experience, one of the best World War II FPS created. Excellent! Since we got Josh here, let's talk about the newest Call of Duty game in the series, Call of Duty World War II. Now let's go to the segment, Greg and Greta's interview. Before we start, let's watch this short trailer. In the machine, Joseph. We start going our own way, the whole thing breaks down. When did you forget that? These are men! Our men! When did you forget? Let's take that bridge and find our boy. Gear up! Let's move! Did you think you got This game looks amazing! Definitely a must-have game for everyone who loves to play first-person shooting games. Yeah. Okay, so we've seen the game trailer. Tell us about your character in this game. He's somebody who is obviously mission before man, and really he 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 has the dilemma about it. You know, is it is it mission before man or is it really man before mission? Because he connects to these guys by the end of this story, and and that's really what what drew me to it. I see. So, is it more difficult to act in video games as opposed to acting in movies? It feels like you're doing theater, I swear. But once you start to see what you're actually going to look like, it frees you up to really, to really go for it because it's you're not just in some silly suit. You're really it's this World War II, and and this is some serious stuff. This is definitely a kick-ass game to play, and the graphics looks great. Yeah, and one thing that I think is also really cool about this is that not only is it a kick-ass game, but there's because they spent so much time making this historically accurate. It's going to expose the whole World War II story to a whole new generation. We're really honored to be a part of this game for that reason. Thanks so much for the interview, and we really appreciate your appearance in this episode. All right, take care. Okay, let's go back to the better Call of Duty game. And that game is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Your turn, Greta. Lord Artorius commented, BO2 holds my heart, zombies took a leap and is the only multiplayer I cared about. And that Jana Main said in her list is MW3, BO2, and BO1. 
Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was created in 2012. The single-player campaign followed a father and son storyline across two hugely different time periods. Alex Mason returned from the first Black Ops to fight in the Cold War in the 1980s, while his son David Mason fought a futuristic Cold War in 2025. Enemy forces are attacking San Antonio. There are many variations of endings in this game, and the ending depends on the choices you made throughout your playthrough. It means that the replay value of this game is fantastic and makes the single-player campaign longer than usual. Multiplayer obviously what most people want to play in Call of Duty, and the multiplayer aspect of this game is superb, with the capability to customize weapon loadouts and ditching kill streaks in favor of score streaks, giving players much more incentive to actually play the objective rather than trying to rack up kills. And lastly, don't forget the Zombies mode, where you can play with or against your friends trying to survive the undead hordes. All in all, this game is entertaining, that's why it's a better Call of Duty game. Okay, I think it's time to reveal the best game in the series. The best Call of Duty game in your opinion is... Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Back to you, Greta! Javid Wild commented, MW and Domin Bolts mentioned Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, hands down, best COD game. Created in November of 2007, Call of Duty Modern Warfare deserves to be listed as one of the greatest games ever made. This game revolutionizes the Call of Duty franchise, bringing it into the modern day. The single-player campaign story is about a civil war that breaks down in Russia between the government of the ultra-nationalist under the command of Emran Zakhaev, who seek to restore Russia back to his former Soviet-style leadership. Playing the story in the eyes of several different characters, naming Sergeant Paul Jackson of the Marines and Sergeant Soap Maktavish of the CAS. There's also an unforgettable and innovative scene where you're in place of the eyes of the president of a Middle East country moments before execution. The multiplayer mode of this game is well balanced. You have three kill streaks. In three kills, you get a UAV, on five, an airstrike, and in seven, you got a helicopter. This game was blowing us away with cinematic, interactive gameplay, highly polished mechanics, and some of the best competitive multiplayer available on consoles. Even though Call of Duty reputation has been tarnished for making games every single year, it has its ups and downs, and certainly one of the best first-person shooting game series. Perfect! And that's it for this episode of GBB Gaming. If you have any objections and opinions in the games we mentioned, make sure to include that in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. I'm Greg. And I'm Greta. This is Good Better Best Gaming.